Build your own custom mini ITX open frame computer. Check out this open frame computer I built from scratch. I'm quite proud of my creation. It turned out even better than I expected. Complete with a PCIe riser cable and a graphics card. See how these pieces come together? Let's start at the beginning. I purchased 6063 extruded aluminum angle, channel and square bar. Today we are building the faceplate. It ties in the power supply, the power button, and keeps the frame from rolling over. I like to think of it as the beam. Here are all the pieces needed to build the open frame. Stay tuned to see how these parts were fashioned by hand from raw aluminum extrusions. You will see a little bit of marking, sawing, filing, and the famous center punch. I'm not gonna tell you how I made this hole, but I will show you later. Stay tuned, you won't believe it. And there's the power button. First, set up the workbench. This package of aluminum came straight from the supplier. We have angle, channel, bar, and a rod. All aluminum, they even came with certs. Time to mark the start to cut off the two by two angle aluminum. Saw a little bit on one side, flip it over, saw the other side. Now saw down these two cuts, both sides at the same time. Square, 90 degrees, that's what I like. I need to clean up the edges. We can remove the burrs with a file. Let's get this annoying sticker off. Before I go any further, I need to mark the locations of the power supply mounts. If you have watched my previous video, you know I like to use my center punch. I make a lot of pilot holes. The center punch helps you get them in the right spot. These holes will be countersunk to accommodate flathead machine screws. I'm gonna drill it down just a little bit so they sit flush. I'm gonna square up this angle just a touch. Yep, that's good. The power supply needs room for airflow. Here's a sneak peek of the open frame Mini ITX DIY PC 90% built. I want some rounded edges to make this look more interesting, like it was custom made for the power supply. Also, it's going to help with airflow. It's going to take a few cuts to clean out this excess material. First, cut off a rectangle with the hacksaw. I'm going to make my cuts just shy of the pencil lines. That way I have room to clean up material later. That's out of the way. I'm gonna make an access cut with the hacksaw at an angle. And now finish it off with a coping saw. The coping saw is great for going around corners and getting into tight spots. Okay, so it looks a little bit rough. How do you clean this up? I'm using the file. Lots of filing. 
Luckily, aluminum is softer than steel. That's the profile I'm going for. Just need to clean the edges up a little bit and get rid of these burrs. Okay, yeah, that is looking good. There's the power button. So we've got to put a hole in there. And honestly, I didn't have the right tool for this job. But I did find something that works. Yeah, spade bit. Kind of. You gotta try new things once in a while. Well, I got through it. Let's see if the button fits. Okay, we're gonna make it a little bigger using the jeweler's file. Ding! Just like it was meant to be. So I've got a few scratches and I wanna make the surface look even, so I'm gonna sand it. And a little bit of scotch bright to polish it up. Yeah, that looks pretty good. Here's all the pieces needed to make the custom Mini ITX open frame DIY PC computer. I can't wait to get a few more videos published with more details on how you can build your own custom Mini ITX open frame computer.